two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. We got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. Everything looking good. Altitude 4200. Houston, you're go for landing. Over. 40 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet, two and a half down. Straight shadow. Four forward. Four forward. Drift into the right a little. Ready? Down and a half. 30 seconds. Forward. Just. Good. Hey. Contact light. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Across the country and around the world, the Apollo 11 crew were welcomed back as heroes. More than 100 scientists from here and abroad began intensive studies of the lunar samples. Before Project Apollo ended, six additional flights to the moon were made, and all but one were highly successful. Flight. Launched first was a two-story orbital workshop. Then the first of three three-man crews departed to meet, join, and begin living in the orbiting laboratory. 
those crews would stay 28, 59, and 84 days respectively. One of the major objectives was to find out if astronauts could physically withstand extended stays in space and continue to do useful work there. The answer was a resounding yes. Experiments in astronomy, Earth resources observations, materials processing, and crystal growth all proved highly successful. Then ASTP, Apollo Soyuz Test Project, a joint endeavor between the Soviet Union and the United States. The mission called for a mutual docking and crew exchange to develop the necessary equipment for international space rescues. Before, during, and after Apollo, Skylab, and ASTP, NASA's unmanned planetary programs were giving scientists exciting new glimpses into the history of the solar system, from early explorers to the infrared astronomy satellite. Seven Mariner spacecraft flew by the planets Mars, Venus, and Mercury, sending back a stream of pictures and data. Ten Pioneer spacecraft did likewise, including Jupiter flybys and probes through the atmosphere of Venus. Pioneer 10 became the first man-made object to leave the solar system. Atmosphere physics, astronomy, meteorology, and geodesy. These are just a few of the scientific disciplines studied by dozens of explorer-class orbiters through the years. Hundreds of sounding rockets have probed the atmosphere above where balloons are effective, but below the area that satellites fly. satellite was sent aloft to answer basic biological questions. Will cells divide normally while weightless? How does zero-g affect plant growth? Would radiation and weightlessness be a hazard on long-duration space flights? Everything from plants to primates were orbited aboard biosatellite to find out. the Ogos, orbiting geophysical observatories that blossomed out like giant dragonflies in space. Oso, orbiting solar observatories, studied our sun and its influence on Earth. In the last 25 years, our orbiting astronomical observatories have radically changed our view of the universe. We now see a dynamic universe of quasars and black holes and other extraordinary objects, of cataclysmic forces causing the birth and death of stars, of billions of galaxies wheeling in the immensity of space. We looked back at planet Earth with Landsat remote sensing satellites. Crops, forests, pollution, all can be photographed in great detail to help us better manage our Earth's resources.